Here's another interesting discrete transistor circuit. This one's not analogue, as some of the other ones have been. This one's digital. This is a circuit uh, not unlike some of the circuitry that was made for the Apollo guidance computer. That was a computer built out of integrated circuits, but the integrated circuits were very, very simple. They were just three input NOR gates. Now this circuit is actually a pair of cross-coupled two input NOR gates. And you can see the discrete transistors here, which make up the gates. And over on this side I've got two more discrete transistors. These are all NPN bipolars. And I've got two LEDs. You can see that one of the LEDs, the yellow one, is on and the green one is off. If I push the button over here, the green one comes on the yellow one goes off. So this is a bistable or a latch, a set-reset latch or flip-flop. If I press the other button, the yellow light comes on. So it's a memory, a single-bit memory. I can set the memory to one state or the other. So you could think of it as a single bit of RAM. Now, normal, a normal dynamic RAM in a computer these days would work using capacitance to store a bit. But static RAM, the, maybe the registers of a, of a um, processor, that might well be done using flip-flops, a flip-flop like this, that you can set to zero or set to one. You think of this yellow LED as the... Uh, the true output, it's 1 at the moment, now it's 0. And the complement output comes up to a 1 and goes to 0. Um, so with two momentary input switches, I can store a single bit of data in a circuit, which is basically four transistors. The other two are simply there to drive the LEDs. The, 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 the circuit uh, will latch quite happily with just the four transistors, but you can't see the output. You can't see what's happening. And adding the LEDs, uh, it doesn't actually have enough current drive to do that, so I've added the extra two transistors simply to make the LEDs work and to show when you push the button that it's actually happening. Now, if you were so inclined, you could take circuits like this and build much more complicated logic. As I say, the Apollo guidance computer used logic not unlike this in integrated circuit form with three input gates and built the entire computer out of that. Um, I don't propose to do something as complicated as that. People have done. People have gone ahead and done that kind of thing using discrete transistors to make computer logic. Um, this is simply a little demonstration of a simple one-bit memory done using nothing more than discrete transistors.